Hi, I want to show you the new discovery of uh, Fabrizio Habashin and Tyson Bell. It's a very simple setup to morph one object to the other. It's using VTB. Tyson explained the process here. You can pause and read, or this is the setup. I will go step by step. First of all, you have your two objects that you want to morph one into other. You'll be like, this is sphere, we morph to this. And it's very important that they are intersecting. So if you put like that, it will not morph to other object. Okay, so must be intersecting. Then we'll be very fast, very easy. Birth VDB, this mesh to VDB, you can drag out. And then object to STF. And then you pick your first object. And then you copy out and connect here. Okay, so now you see the yellow is already the VDB. And then you can right click, copy, right click, paste, object to SDF. You remove the first object and then you select the second one. You can hide now. And from VDB, copy out. You're going to morph and you're going to connect here. You can right click and switch outside just to be more visual pleasing. Tyson mentioned that it's important you select the evaluation priority. So you click in the event itself and the second one, you put the value number two. All the important setup is change the timing. You either click here and put continuous and will turn into green. Or you can right click timing continuous. OK, so now you're going to see that's working, but it's very, very slow. So to change the timing, you can morph step. If I put, for example, one now will be super fast. By fast, I mean the timing of the morph of one object to the other. So here is in 30 frames. Now let's change to 0 0.5 and see. Now 0 0.5 is double of the time. I'm not sure if it's linear or if it's just a coincidence here, but that's the basic setup. I was playing with this setup and I noticed that the frame zero, it's already start to morphing. Let's, let's say if I turn off here, that's the original object. But if I turn on, it starts to morphing already in the frame zero. Let's say that I want it from zero until 10, the original object. So one way to do that is in the timing and you enable exclusion and put zero uh, put to 10. So now from zero to 10, nothing will happen and only then they start morphing. Okay, so that's one of usage of this timing here. This is the exact setup that I did for this animation. I just downloaded from Sketchfab the lion and the cat. Link in descriptions. And that's it. You can get very creative. I will post later more what you can do with VDB. My goal with this in all my videos about Typeflow is to keep the track of the knowledge built up on the Typeflow group in Facebook, because in Facebook, everything just disappear over time, right? So I hope that you like it. Really subscribe will help me, will help you. We know all of that things and see you next one. Thank you.